welcome back to Ironclad RC. This is part three of our fast electric RC boat build. Today we're going to go over setup options for this Delta Force 23 mini sniper. We're going to give you guys some setup tips to help you guys out with your build. So stick around. I'm going to show you guys how I set up my RC boats, how I go through different setup options quickly and efficiently. So let's get to it. So, 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 so we're going to move the electronics around in the boat. So, so, oh, 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 oh. Oh man, the time I just took to set my boat up and I kind of bump it, everything just moves and, and, and just goes all over the place. So, so let's fix that. Let's fix it. All right. I've got a tip for you guys. I've got a couple tips to help you set your boat up and, and keep it set up during the whole process. What I like to use is Loctite Fun Tack. It's just like a tacky putty that you use to hang pictures on the wall. You can get it anywhere, any little uh, grocery store or whatever. But what I like to do, uh, you know, you're trying to set your servo up and the servo, it won't stay on that, on that, in your boat because of the the shape of the boat it just keeps sliding down no matter how many times you do it so i take that putty i'll stick it on the back of my electronics that i want to keep in place put it where i think i want it for my initial setup boom it's not going to fall off and, and move around on you while you're setting all your other electronics up in the boat i'm saying i'll put it on the back of my motor mount um, I like to run my motor toward the back of the boat, keep my cable short, less resistance, and uh, that sticky putty, you just stick, stick it on there and it keeps everything where it needs to be while you're trying to figure out where your center of gravity is uh, going to be on your boat. Now, you can't just set the inside of your boat up and go by that. You have to set the transom up as well. That way you find the best balance, the best uh positions for everything on your boat you have a lot of stuff that's going to be going back here especially on a mono hull you got turn fins trim tabs the rudder your strut everything now i use double-sided scotch tape for that this is a cheap tape uh, i get a whole roll of it and what i do is i'll cut it and put it on my rudder all right and that'll let you set all your hardware up on the back of your boat all right temporarily now my servo is going to be mounted right here basically all right so i need to find the best steering geometry and what i use for that is just this little pin striping tape i'll actually you know my servo horns here so that's where my my rotor geometry is going to be my steering linkage it's going to be right there so i'll put a piece of this blue tape on and that'll kind of give me an idea of where my servo linkage will be put all right it's going to help you out when you're building your boat little things like this helps out a lot and i've figured a lot of this stuff out on my own over the years setting up different boats it just you know i've tried different setups and this is the best way to do it all right so i've got my rudder set up back here now the rudder base is a little bit too big so we're going to have to pull this off and figure out what's going on how we can make this work because our trim tabs have got to go back here all right you see how the rudder base is in the way here all right so we're going to have to take one side or the other off or use a whole different rudder altogether that's why this double-sided tape comes in handy when you're setting up your boat you just stick your your things in position and that'll uh, kind of tell you if you need to modify something to make it fit I also use this blue tape once I'm, I figured out where I want to put my hardware I'll use the blue tape it kind of mark where the hardware is on the back of the boat you see what I'm saying like so and that'll kind of help you out when you've got or found the prime positions for everything all right now we know the the struts gonna go dead center basically we just need to find the height of our, our bracket um, our rudder we need to make sure that the leading edge is basically in line with our propeller and what I use to, to do that with so you don't have to fumble around with a flex cable I just put my propeller on a wooden dowel 
You can even throw your drive dog in there so you can get the perfect distance from your strut so you can make sure your rudder is going to be far enough away from the propeller that it don't hit it. You see what I'm saying? All right. Uh, that'll also give you an idea of if your rudder is going to be in the right position. If your rudder is too far, too far forward, like a, a rudder like this, uh, you won't have like basically uh, full steering and like a left turn. Also, you need to check and make sure your rudder is going to be long enough when you're banking left that your rudder is not going to come out of the water. If it's too short, it'll come out of the water in a left in a left turn and you're going to lose steering. Also, you need to make sure your rudder is long enough that it's going to be in the water enough when you're up on plane, like up on plane in your ride pad and make sure your rudder is going to be deep enough into the water or or not too deep in the water that it's going to slow you down. All right? I know I'm kind of talking fast and trying to go over a lot of stuff in a short amount of time so you guys aren't like bored to death. You guys can see that I've got my, my, my rudder and my servo kind of set where it needs to be so that my linkage is coming out in the prime location. All right, my rudder linkage. Now our strut is basically where it needs to be at. Now we need to start putting our trim tabs on. All right, so what I'm seeing here I'm not going to be able to run my trim tabs where I want them. So this base is too big. I'm either going to have to modify the base, file some off the bottom or a couple, you know, a little bit off the corner of this trim tab so I can get it put on there. Or we need to actually take one side of this rudder base off and just run like a single base on one side. Uh, this boat should be okay if we use half of the rudder base and I'll just fill in the gap with something so it don't look so, so hideous. All right. So... Once we figure out where everything is uh, put on the back of the boat, once we get all this stuff kind of dry fitted on the transom, then, only then, we can go in the boat and start balancing with our batteries, make sure our CG is going to be correct before we start epoxy in motor mounts and battery trays in. You know what I'm saying? So, so let's get the back of the boat set up first. Now let's go ahead and, and put these trim tabs on the boat so we can kind of work around our trim tabs, all right? Um, I, I tried to kind of get my trim tabs in between the, the lifting strakes on the boat, closer to the keel, all right? Put them exactly where they're gonna be mounted. Now, and we'll kind of put our turn fins on. You want the your turn fins basically 90 degrees to the bottom of your boat. You don't want your bracket too low that your bracket's going to rub in the water. So, and you want it on the inside of that spray rail right there. So, we're going to do about right there just for the time being. So, it's starting to look like something now. <clears throat> so, we need to figure out what we need to do with this rudder. Cause I like the I like how long it is compared to the strut. I like how how deep it is. We just need to cut a little bit off the bottom. So now let's uh, let's see what we can do with this base. Okay. All right. So one side of the base is threaded. The other side is not. So let's use the threaded side. Okay, and I'm thinking we can go like that. That way it looks good from the outside, and then we can thread it in. And then if this works out, we can cut a piece of metal, aluminum, to put right there to kind of strengthen it up. We're going to temporarily put these screws in, and then we're going to stick it on the boat and see if this is going to be a good setup. I'm thinking that it'll give me room for my geometry. All right, it should give me some room. With, without the other side here, it should give me room for my, my trim tab. And we may have to take a little bit of material off the bottom, which is okay with me because a light boat is a happy boat. You would think I've learned by now not to make a heavy boat. So yeah, that's actually gonna work out perfect. Well, we can install our base in between the trim tab and the turn fin 
that's going to give our geometry a perfect geometry to our steering linkage we'll probably have to drill a couple holes out cut one side off we'll do that later on we'll worry about that later on so that's pretty much how i'm thinking about setting up the transom all right my geometry is coming from the blue tape that's going to look good when it's turned to the left and right that looks pretty good to me probably going to take a little bit of material off the top of this and the bottom of this probably going to do away with these beauty caps right here and try to find an aluminum bolt and nut so that it cuts a little bit of weight off right there too i want the 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 strength of a 3 16th 0.150 cable so that's why i'm using this bigger strut if you guys are wondering uh, I'm, I'm actually going to take some material off the bottom of this strut right here and make it a flat bottom strut i'm also going to grind material file material off the sides of my strut a lower profile this boat's going to run like a 30 to 35 millimeter propeller with a small drive dog so we need to reduce the size of our strut dramatically and i like doing stuff like that it's fun to me i enjoy it so that's kind of my thoughts anyway for the back of the boat all right that's kind of my setup options back here kind of really limited it to what we can do but i think that's gonna i think that's gonna do it i think that's gonna do it so now we got the back of the boat we we know how everything's gonna be set up we know how much weight is gonna be back here minus the flex cable of course so now we can start kind of setting up the inside of the boat do we want to set our, our motor up forward and and put our batteries toward the back or do we want to run our, our motor in the back and put our batteries up front that's our two setup options so the only way really to figure that out is just uh, kind of dry fit everything in the boat batteries everything so I think I'm gonna make my ESC tray all right I'm gonna put like a little slit here a little slit here so I can velcro it down I don't know if I want to make a longer ESC tray so I can also move my ESC forward and back to help distribute weight. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes. Sticky putty on the battery mount, ESC mount, and the ESC. So now we can pick our boat up, check it out, mess around with the weight. All right, so let's see where the weight is without batteries, okay? So without batteries, a little bow heavy there, tail heavy, so about where that blue tacky tape is, all right, without batteries. So yeah, about where the blue tacky tape is, all right. So now I got the batteries in the boat. Let's kind of see where where it's at with the batteries. So our CG's here, all right. Once we put all the hardware in the flex cable the stuffing tube it's going to add in the epoxy for everything that's going to add some weight so that should bring our cg back i really i really think this is going to be the best setup option for this boat um, the only other option would be running like a, a mid mount motor like right in here you know what i'm saying and running your esc back here with your batteries on the on the side but i'm planning on using some larger batteries and it's just going to be too cramped with a mid mount motor it would be more convenient and this would work so that's a setup option for you guys more so than a forward mount motor mount uh, i'm going to run mine in the back and i may cut that little piece off there so i can work on my boat a little bit easier um, esc there so I can slide it back and forth. I'm also, this is where I'm running my water cooling. I'm gonna use a 9 16 I think it is, cooling line. This is a large cooling line. I'm gonna use like a medium. I think that's gonna fit this boat perfect. All right, um, I'm just gonna run one pickup at first, just to cool the ESC and motor down. And then I'll probably add this custom pickup I made uh, later on down the road. I think I got plenty of space here. See that and this is where I'm gonna run the two lines start with one one 
intake and then I'll, I'll eventually have two intakes. Let's see what we got in the box here. Some of my older stuff. Um, now this mount right here may work. This is a custom rudder I made a while ago. A long time ago, really. And it might work on this boat. Oh man, that might work. The only bad thing about this, I made it with a single through hole. <laughs> so it was just a, I was trying to save space on the transom. I was trying to save space, <laughs> but it worked. I really liked it. I actually had two of them hooked up on the boat. I hit a turtle and tore this one right here all to hell. But uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, this was the linkage I had for it. It was actually kind of cool, all all handmade. <laughs> it was cool. And you know what these are? The this right here. This is a turnbuckle. Part of the turnbuckle, the aluminum part of a turnbuckle. <laughs> That's what I made the two rudder rudder bases out of. <laughs> oh, let's see what we got. Yeah, see that rudder. That one would be too short. I think that's the same size as this mini rudder, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> all right, so, so yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> so that's basically my setup right there. That's what we're gonna go for. I'm gonna go with these mounts right here, these battery mounts, we're gonna make them out of that fiberglass I, I laminated it with the gel coat you know <clears throat> if anything I may make a skinnier a skinnier mount so it conserves weight I may make you know maybe about that big right there all right and a little bit longer so I can move my battery all the way back and all the way forward give me full adjustability because I'm planning on changing motors and stuff out on this boat and that's basically why I mounted my, my motor in the back. I know it might be kind of troublesome getting it in and out, but for me, I think that's the, that's the best option. <clears throat> and uh, so, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. We'll see you guys next time.